Hello there. Now we're going to talk about the asteroid. This is a classical curve. from uh, It dates back to the ancient Greek mathematicians. Uh, we're going to use calculus to study it. Here we see a plot of the asteroid. Um, this one's defined by x to the two-thirds plus y to the two-thirds equals four to the two-thirds. In general, the asteroid has uh, a to the two-thirds on the right-hand side. Uh, as you can see, uh, this curve uh, is not y defined as a function of x because it does not pass the vertical line test. Uh, nevertheless, it is a relationship between x and y, and we can find the formula for the slope of the tangent line using implicit differentiation. Now that we know what the curve looks like, let's use calculus and implicit differentiation to give us a formula for the slope of the tangent line. So we start with the equation that defines the relation between x and y, and now we'll differentiate both sides, assuming implicitly assuming that y is a function of x. Uh, okay, so uh, I'm going to take the derivative of this. It's going to be 2 thirds x to the, well, 2 thirds minus uh, 1 is to the minus 1 third. And for y here, we're going to have to use the chain rule, but we're going to start by using the power rule. So 2 thirds y to the negative 1 third. And then I'm going to multiply by y prime. This is the chain rule. I'm assuming implicitly that y is a function of x. And then this is equal to, well, the derivative of a constant is 0. All right, so now I have 2 thirds y to the minus 1 third times y prime is equal to, well, I can subtract both sides, uh, this, this term from both sides, and I have minus 2 thirds x to the minus 1 third here. Aha. Uh -huh. And now, since I have a factor of 2 thirds on both sides, more or less, I can divide through by this, and I get y to the minus 1 third times y prime is equal to negative x to the 1 third. Aha. Uh -huh. And so now y prime is equal to minus x to the negative 1 third all over y to the negative 1 third. So we have a formula, but how do we know it's correct? I mean, does it even make sense? Let's see if we can look at the plot and try to make some sense out of this. So let's look at this derivative a little bit more. Um, if x is equal to y, it looks like that points on the curve. If x is equal to y, then the slope of the tangent line looks to be around uh, negative 1 here. And that's correct, because if x is 1, and, or if x and y are equal, then this thing is equal to negative, this, this, this slope is equal to negative 1. On the other hand, if x is negative and y is positive, we're right around here, suppose they're equal, then uh, the slope should be 1. And if x is negative, well, negative x to the minus 1 third power is a negative number, negative times negative, positive, positive over positive, positive. So this is going to be positive 1. If, say, uh, y is negative and x is negative, well, again, this, and they're equal, this, again, is going to be negative 1. And look, we can see that uh, on the curve right here if we put our tangent line in the right spot. And if... Uh, let's see, y is negative and x is positive, again, and they're equal. Uh, again, our tangent line is going to have slope 1, as we can see right there, more or less. Uh, another thing that's interesting is what if uh, y is 0? Well, in that case, you know, our tangent line is going to go to 0. Of course, the derivative doesn't actually exist. It exists from, from one side and the other, but you can see that our answer basically is giving us the right result. All right, so we've used implicit differentiation to find the formula for the slope of the tangent line to the asteroid. Uh, I always like implicit differentiation. You know, it's the chain rule that kicks out that extra term, and you're always going to be able to solve for that because basically your equation is going to be linear in the uh, derivative of y, and, and we're good at solving linear equations. Okay, let's go do some more math now.